Hi, my name is Tandi Chandanala, and I represent the Back to Back Mercer County, New Jersey visual arts team. My interest in art began when I was little, and I have loved it ever since. As I searched for my own art style through the years, I explored various mediums, which are the materials used to create a piece of art. For example, there's watercolor, colored pencils, um, graphite, markers, and so on. Shading was one thing that really stuck out to me as I switched between mediums, because it's different every time. It is also an important part of the art process because it adds depth and makes things look more three-dimensional and realistic. First, starting off with graphite, which is basically pencil, here are some of my art pieces I made with this medium. I have a rose here and a small still life study. So the first part of shading is identifying the light source. Here, the light source is in the upper left corner, around here. The shadows are created because the object blocks the light from passing through it. This means that all of the shadows are going to be facing the opposite direction of the light, which in this case is to the right. The part of the objects that the light does not reach are also going to be darker, such as the back side of this jar and underneath the X. In this rose, the light is above it, so the shadows are cast underneath the petals. Shading with graphite is actually pretty simple. You just press harder for the darker values. It's especially helpful to create value scales, like this one over here, so you can practice getting shades down. Next, here is some art that I created using colored pencils. At first glance, it may seem like I only used red, orange, yellow, and green to draw this up. When in fact, I used blues, purples, and even indigo to color the shadowed part over here. This is because using black to create shadows in a colored piece can make it seem dull and less realistic. Instead, using either blue or complementary colors will make your art much more vivid and bring it to life. Complementary colors are the colors on the opposite side of the color wheel, like green and red, yellow and purple, orange and blue, and so on. Now, the main technique for shading is to work in layers. Start off with a very light base layer and then add the colors for your shading. For this apple, I started off with a very light red layer, then added the blues and the purples. The next step is to layer again with the main color, and you keep on repeating this process until it's smoothly blended. In this picture, you can see the first stage of coloring the apple. I mapped out the highlights, shadows, and the different colored areas. Now, for creating the shadows of colored pencil pieces, it's really similar to graphite. All the shadows have to be facing the opposite direction of the light source, as we had in graphite, and you can see that I just, I actually just used a gray um, colored pencil to create the shadows. And same thing for this one. Shading with oil pastels is pretty similar. You can create the shadows of these such by layering and then blending the colors of your choice. Or you can cut off pieces of the oil pastels, mix it in a palette, and then use it to shade. Moving on to the next medium, here are two acrylic paintings I made in 2020. In this school project, we were told to create a monochromatic portrait with a different colored background. Monochromatic means one color, but you can use many shades and tints of that color. I mixed each of the values in a palette and then applied the darkest shades for the shadow areas, like over here, 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 and there. Here, I shaded the mountains using a flattened tool to create the look of snow. I also used shading to make the trees look more realistic. First, I colored in the figure of the trees with a dark color, and then I dabbed on a lighter color to create the leaves. Experimenting with different mediums is really fun, and I really recommend everyone tries it out. Whether you like art or not, it gives you a chance to be creative, and you might end up finding something that you really do like. Thank you for watching.